This higher purchase question comes from um, Stefina. Stefina, thank you for this higher purchase question. I hope that I am pronouncing your name correctly. It is important for me to pronounce your name correctly. So the higher purchase question, first things first, guys, I might not finish this, but this is what you need to understand about higher purchase. If you take an item out on higher purchase, you are going to the shop and you're saying to the shop, I cannot afford, I cannot afford to buy this uh, item cash. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pay it on installments. Higher purchase is not the same as lay by. Learners sometimes ask me, ma'am, what is the difference between lay by and higher purchase? If you lay buying something, you're going to pay it and you only take it out of the shop once you've finished paying it. Higher purchase, I go, I take that fridge, I pay a deposit for that fridge, I take that fridge and then I start paying installments for it. So I'm using the fridge, but now I'm paying installments for it for about two years or a year or whatever the case is. Let's look at what Stefina has sent us. So this is the, the one that Stefina sent us. Ne? It says, Valley High School needs a new stove for their customers, for their consumer studies kitchen. The consumer studies teacher, Miss Van Dijk, obtained the following information from the two stores for the school to consider. Some of the details have been omitted. So this is um, the one shop, which is ASDA, Kitchen Appliances, and then this is Kitchen Pro. So we've got two stoves here. They are both four plate, um, and then here it says to us, it's a four plate um, compact electricity stove, and then the next one is a four plate gas electric stove, so it can do two things, okay guys? No installation needed for the one, and then electric oven, with conviction uh, function. Let's look at the two things that we need to um, compare here. The selling price here is that it's 1989 So it says to us we'll save 210 and then the selling price on this side is 2100 $2, and then it's get 5% discount if you are buying it for cash. Higher purchase option is what I was talking about. You go into the shop, you don't have enough money, so you take it out on higher purchase. So the higher purchase here, ooh, this question is a bit funky, but let me see how much I can make of it. Um, this question here, it says to us that we take out a deposit. There's always a deposit for higher purchase, guys. This deposit here is 1,900, it's 199 rand. And then you're going to pay 88 rand for 30 months. So it doesn't have a total cost, meaning we're going to have to calculate our own total cost there. The next option, 15% deposit. Sometimes they say that to us. So we know that out of that 2,100, we're going to pay 15% of a deposit. And then it says to us, how much are we going to be paying for 24 months? And then the total cost has been given over here. And then it says here it's at a 17% interest rate per annum. This one, if I am correct, it says 19% interest rate per annum. One thing you need to know about higher purchase, okay? One thing that you need to know about higher purchase, the longer you take to pay for an item, the more you're going to pay for it. So if I take out an item and I, I take it out for less months, I'm going to pay less. But if it's for more months, I'm going to pay more. Let's look at the questions in this particular question. It says to us, write down the annual interest rate charged by Kitchen Pro. That is, that is easy. I said to you guys the other day, whenever they ask for rate, they want the percentage. But whenever they just say interest, they want the money. So rate is going to be the percentage. So the percentage that is charged here, um, and it, it's almost there to confuse you because there's a percentage here, but this percentage is deposit, and then there's a percentage here which is for the interest rate. So 3.2.1 would then be 17% um, in terms of that interest rate. 3.2.2, calculate the monthly installment for the stove from Kitchen Pro. So if I am being told, guys, I'm being told that the, the total cost is that much and I'm paying it for 24 months. 
then it's going to be 2,443.49 divided by the 24 months. I'm trying to find the installment now of what I'm going to be paying per month, right? So that is going to be 2,000. Uh, let's see if we can. 2,443.49 divided by 24 months. Okay, so that is going to give me 101 rand and 81 cents. 101 rand and 81 cents per month. So that's how much you're going to pay for that stove. Ne? And you can see that it's going to be more than this stove. This stove you would have paid 88 rand, but it would have been for 30 months. Let's do B. The original selling price of the stove from as the kitchen appliances before the price was deduced. So now we need to figure out how much you would have paid if you didn't have to save this 210. So you would have said 3.2.3. You'd have taken that money, which is 1,889. 989 plus how much they said you would have deduced, which is 210 Rand. So 1989 plus the 210 Rand. So 2199 Rand. So that is all that I could do with you guys today. Guys, don't panic. With math literacy, the key thing that you need to do is that you always need to read the questions twice, especially if you're a second language speaker like I am, okay? Read the questions twice and that's going to help you to understand the questions. <laughs>